Hi everybody, we're from Armatorge United Martial Arts in Groves, Texas, and this is our Bully Defense Techniques video. Um, a bully is usually someone who is probably larger than the person they're picking on, so these moves will be designed to help you defend yourself against somebody bigger or stronger than you. Okay, we're going to go for some vital points during this. We're going to go for the eyes, the nose, the throat, ribs, stomach, groin. Uh, those are the main areas we're going to work. I'm going to show you two different techniques um, and we're going to apply it to several different situations. The best strategy is to have a couple different ideas of something that works. You don't want to do anything too complicated because you don't have time to think in a real fighting situation. One thing you always want to make sure you do is that you have your hands ready if you feel like you might be in a threatening situation. So if Mr. Trent were yelling at me or getting too close, say, hey, I don't want any trouble, I don't want any trouble, leave me alone. Then if he comes in too close, I'm ready. My hands are already up. I just close my stance, pull my elbows in, and I'm ready to protect myself. So anytime, even when he's over there and he starts pointing, yelling, whatever, I have my hands up and if he gets too close, I'm ready. You don't want to get caught with your hands in your pockets, hands behind your back, looking at the ground, right? You want to have your hands ready to go. Be assertive. Oftentimes that's enough to keep a bully from attacking you. They usually pick on someone they think they can take advantage of. So stand up, hands up, be assertive, and that way if something should happen, you're ready to go. The first thing we're going to do, Mr. Chen is just going to swing at me. This is a very common thing that happens in a fight. So if he swings, I'm going to block to the inside. I'm going to throw a palm heel to his nose, grab the throat, Pull it back and hit with another palm. Okay? Now, I'm going to do that a little bit more full speed. He punches. Boom, boom, boom. Now, from here, with my palm heel, all I'm going to do is grab, pull towards me, knee, knee, then I'm going to shove him away as I step past him this way. I might add my foot to trip, so I might use my other foot to kick him in the back of the leg if I need to. Okay? So, one more time. He punches. Palm heel, grab, palm heel, knee, knee, and this time I'm going to add the trip. Let me go. He's going to come in and shove me. When he shoves me, I'm going to move to the side. I'm going to take this hand and I'm going to pop it right in the throat. Now, from here, all I'm going to do, knee and shove. Okay. I'm getting out of the way sideways. His momentum is coming forward. I'm going to let him go back. Okay, one more time slow. He comes in on the side of his throat, knee, shut. Okay, one more time. I'm going to add the kick to the back of the leg, take him down, throat, knee, kick. This one is against the side headlock. So he grabs me here. If he's holding on tight with both hands, I need to get some space to breathe. I'm pulling down, I can pop him in the groin. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull down, I'm going to slip my head back, slide under, knee, push up. If he's not grabbing, if he's punching me with that other hand, this hand has to stay here to protect. When I get a chance, boom, slip out, finish, shove again. This technique is going to be for a sucker punch, like an uppercut. I don't want to drop my hand down because then that leaves my face open. So when he comes in low, I'm going to use my elbow. I'm going to come back with a palm heel, another elbow, and this time I'm going to step forward, push him in the house. The palm heel and the elbow will get his head going backwards. I'm going to keep going that way and take him down. If the person is bigger than you and you need a little extra help, you can hit him across the throat, across the chest, in the face again when you take him down. So he's coming low with the punch, palm, elbow, I'll grab the throat, take him down. Boom. Even if he's bigger and stronger than me, if I've got the throat, I'm going to be able to drive him where I want him to go. We'll do one more. He's going to grab me and punch him. He might be pulling me in and trying to punch me. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is make sure I have my hand up to defend myself. So this hand's here. I'm going to pull down on his arm. Bend my knee so that he can't lift me off balance. So I drop down. Now from here, palm heel to the nose, grab the throat, step. Same take down with a moment ago. 
Okay, so he grabs, I'm going to drop my weight, keep my hand up here, okay, hit him in the eyes, hit him in the nose, whatever. I'm going to grab his throat, step forward, I'm pulling down on his arm, and sweep. We'll do it one time on the opposite side, so you can see that sweep. So he grabs, he's punching, I pull down, palm, grab, see I'm stepping up, I pull on this arm down as I sweep. Okay, these are just a few easy, simple tips that will work against a larger opponent, that will work against a bully without seriously injuring somebody, but just enough to defend yourself and get away. This is Mr. Trent, I'm Mr. Will from Armatures Martial Arts and Groves. Thanks for watching.